Yo, what's up? What's up? This is the Prince right here with the Prince Report. Giving it to you just like this. Listen, got to talk to you. Got to talk to you. Let you know what's going on in quartet and gospel music right here. Want to let you know, want to let you know, listen, have you got the brand new CD right there from the Gospel Legends? If you haven't, go ahead and get it. You know they got one playing on the radio called Rest in Easy. Also, want to let you know this, maybe you didn't know, maybe you did know, Harvey Watkins and the Canton Spirituals, they got a brand new single, and it's featuring Al Green. Now did you know that one? Call somebody and tell somebody the Prince got it for you, the news right here. I want to take this time and thank you for your prayers for Mr. Doc McKenzie. Listen, he's doing well. He's doing great. I want you to spread the word. Tell everybody that Doc McKenzie would like to thank you for your prayers. He's doing good. I want to let you know, listen, look up Doc McKenzie in the highlights right there on Facebook and Instagram to see where his next shows are going to be and more news. I want to let you know, Lil Prince and Company, they got a brand new single. But guess what? They're coming to a city near you. That's news straight from the Prince Report. But I got to get out of here. So thank you for checking out the Prince Report on your local radio station. Don't forget, if you would like to get the Prince Report in your area, let us know. Call somebody. Tell somebody. This is news that you can't afford to miss. All right. I'm out of here. Just to let, let you know
not be ashamed to ask the good Lord to walk with us. In every situation, whatever you may be going through, don't be ashamed to ask the good Lord to walk with you. Mm-hmm. Walk with me, Lord. Walk with me. Gospel News. Since arriving on the music scene in 2009, Brian Courtney Wilson has managed to release three solo albums and share his talents as a member of Fred Hammond's United Tenors. Throughout those projects, Wilson's singular tenor and community-minded ministry has won the humble artist a growing host of fans and critical acclaim. As a stellar award winner for the United Tenors, 
a Dove Award winner for his song Worth Fighting For, ASCAP Power in Praise Award winner, as well as 2016 Grammy Award and Billboard Music nominee for the song Worth Fighting For, the Motown gospel artist brings a full measure of his singing and songwriting talents to every project and performance. Worth Fighting For has been called a modern day anthem as it overflows with spirit and emotion. Brian Courtney Wilson's melodic tenor passionately expresses his love for the Lord and musical talent. One of gospel music's newest rising stars is Isaiah Templeton. He was born in Massachusetts, but spent most of his life in Dayton, Ohio. This is also where he began nurturing his incredible gifts. Under the tutelage of Pastor Smokey Norfolk, he recorded his first live album in 2016. You may also have seen Isaiah singing background for some of gospel music's leading artists, including Smokey Norfolk, Jonathan Nelson, and Travis Green. Now a resident of of Charlotte, North Carolina, Isaiah is serving as worship leader at the Have Life Church of Charlotte. Lucinda Moore, born Lucinda Simmons, is a gospel singer, songwriter, and arranger with a big voice suited for leading large choirs. A native of Bridgeport, Connecticut, Moore began singing in church as a child. Her professional career began a few years later when she took on a position as a background singer for vocalist Tremaine Hawkins. After several more years of performing with multiple gospel artists, large choirs, and small groups, including appearances with the Gospel Music Workshop of America, she self-released her first solo album, an EP entitled Unlimited Praise in 2004. And the label issued a debut, and that label issued her debut album, Lucinda Moore, in 2006. It landed in the top 20 of Billboard's gospel charts. In 2010, she released her follow-up album entitled Blessed, Broken, and Given, then returned to the gospel charts where it reached number 13. Lucinda Moore won the Stellar in 2011. Lucinda Moore took home the Stellar Award in 2011 for Traditional Female Artist of the Year. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. What is breast cancer? Well, it's a disease characterized by cells in the breast tissue that become abnormal and multiply uncontrollably, forming a tumor. If left untreated, malignant cells may eventually spread beyond the original tumor to other parts of the body. Breast cancer is a disease with many types. Each type of breast cancer is identified by the cells in the breast that become malignant. Hormones may also play a role in the development of certain types of breast cancer. Signs of breast cancer include skin changes, pain, discharge, a lump, and other symptoms. Cancer has been a disease that manifested itself to be one of the scariest diseases of our lifetime. Breast cancer can't be prevented, but you can take important steps to help detect it earlier. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Get your girlfriends together. Get tested today. And remember, leading a healthy lifestyle can help you reduce your risk factors for breast cancer and other illnesses. Here's your Billboard Top 10 Gospel Songs in the Country. Number 10, Anthony Brown and Group Therapy. I got that. Number 9.